all right this isn't gonna be edited this isn't gonna be critiqued at all um just get out of work you know just got out of work you know we heard the news yesterday that wilson was only gonna get a 5k suspension so i said okay let me make a video this weekend about it after the season everything wraps up everything will be good we'll be good um I don't understand in what world do you see that the rebuild isn't progressing? They have not been in a rebuild. A rebuild it says I was born. I, I've been to my life 22 years. Never in my life have the Rangers been in a rebuild. Early to mid 2000s, sure, I guess. They were still trying to win before the salary cap era. Then in 05 and 06, sure, they didn't have great seasons. Henrik Lundqvist comes in in 06, 07. They make the playoffs. They only miss once in a decade. Well, I don't understand how you think you can do better. They were the youngest team in the league. Jeff Gordon did a fantastic job over the last three seasons since they released the letter about the rebuild. I don't understand in what world and in what mindset you think you can be a better team. They're the youngest team in the league. Alexi Lafreniere, first overall pick last year. Capo Caco, two years ago, second overall pick. Vitaly Kravtsov, Keandre Miller. Three years ago. Philip Hill, four years ago. You need time to develop these players. What is Jim Dolan thinking? What is he... It's it, a rookie goaltender, too. Rookie goaltender. Adam Fox, second year in the league. One of the best defensemen in the league. He got a bright spot in that kid. I'm not understanding where the urgency is to go out and win a Stanley Cup, especially this season when you can't even have that many fans in the building. Um, 56 games. They almost made the playoffs as the youngest team in the league. They almost made the playoffs. I don't understand how your expectations were to go above and beyond this year when your team was the youngest team in the league during the whole regular season up until the trade deadline where the Devils sold off a few veterans and then they they became the sec uh, the youngest team in the league. I'm not understanding this. I'm not understanding the motive from Jim Dolan to get rid of John Davidson, who did a fantastic job acquiring Artemi Panarin after he drafted Capo Caco. I'm not understanding this, man. Jeff Gordon is a great general manager. He was able to build a little bit of the Bruins. He was able to build John Davidson was a bit was able to build a little bit of the of the uh, Stanley Cup winning St. Louis Blues. A little bit of them. Um, Columbus had a great team when he was there. I'm not understanding where this urgency is coming from. You have, if you wanted to get rid of someone, and this is not a bash on David Quinn. This is not a bash on David Quinn. If you wanted to get rid of someone, it needs to be your head coach first. You do not clean house starting from the top, man. Like, you don't do that. You go from the, there's problems. You go from the coach, general manager, president. Chris Shuri will now be the interim, maybe, maybe full time general manager and president. I think that's a great fit, sure. But let me tell you, over these last three seasons, nothing merits from John Davidson and Jeff Gordon losing their jobs at the New York Rangers. No shot. No shot. I'm very upset right now, Jim Dolan. I don't think it was the right move. You need time for let these kids progress. Artemi Panarin is still a Ranger for six more years, man. Like, you still have time. Five more years, whatever it is now. You have time, man. You're rushing it for no reason. I, don't, I mean, obviously, David Quinn's gone. David Quinn's gone. Pack it up after the season. After these next three games, they'll announce that David Quinn's gone. I don't know. Do you mean Chris Nabla again? Like, I don't know. Like, what was the need to rush all of this? There was no need to rush this rebuild. They're, they've been having a great rebuild, man. Three seasons. It's only been three seasons. Rebuilds take five to seven years. Look at the Buffalo Sabres. They've still been rebuilding since 2010. The New York Islanders were terrible for almost 10 years as well. In the mid-2000s to... Five, six years ago, they weren't even that bad. It took them a decade. It takes time. It's a rebuild. I'm not understanding this. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for Jeff Gordon and John Davidson. Like, they did such a great job. John Davidson, come watch us grow, man. I instilled that into the back of my mind. Come watch us grow. I, I was watching them grow. I, I, that's like so. That's like that's like going to a gardener, right? Like I, I'm looking in the wilderness right now. A gardener. I, I'm coming back every day, watching the flowers grow. He's there watering them. He's there watering them. All of a sudden, I go out one day, and the guy's gone. He's not watering the flowers anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I gotta go home. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, sure. Like, and then Tom Wilson, I don't even want to get into that. I can't, unfortunately, there won't be a reaction video tonight. I'm sorry. There won't be a reaction video tonight. Um, but I was supposed to do one Thursday and Saturday. And then uh, we already know what we're going to be talking about on Saturday in the post game. It's going to be like all this nonsense about Wilson and then about the president and the general manager. I can't believe this. 
All right, I'll see you later.